Hello everyone, I'm Joyce and welcome back to Wondershare FamilySafe, an all-in-one parental control solution that is specifically designed to help parents monitor their child's online activities and keep them safe. As promised, we are back with another internet safety episode where we'll be talking about how you can block Discord on your child's iPhone, MacBook, and Chromebook. The reason why it is necessary to block Discord on your kids' digital devices is the addiction it causes among children. For viewers who don't know, Discord is an online platform where users can create dedicated rooms and communicate with each other while playing different types of online games. Studies have shown that teenagers are the most common users of Discord and they spend several hours a day on this platform. For parents, this has become a bit alarming as they don't want their children to keep sticking their eyes into the computer screen for longer durations. An ideal way to tackle this situation is to simply block Discord on your kids' phones and computers. Since they won't be able to log into their account, you won't have to worry about them getting addicted to Discord. So in this video, we'll be discussing three different ways to block Discord across different digital devices. But before we go any further, please make sure that you click on that subscribe button to Wondershare Pharmacy so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Use the built-in method to block Discord on Mac. Now, we'll first start with blocking Discord on a MacBook. If your kids usually use Discord on their MacBooks or iMacs, you can directly use the screen time feature to set a time limit and restrict them from spending too many hours on Discord. Here is how you can use the screen time feature on Mac OS to block Discord. First of all, open your kid's laptop and go to System Preferences from the Apple menu. And in here, click on Screen Time and click on the Options button at the bottom left corner. Then tap the Use Screen Time Passcode. After enabling the Screen Time Passcode, go back to Screen Time window and click on Content and Privacy. Then click Turn On to enable the feature. Now on the next screen, select the Content tab and enter the Discord website URL to block it on the system. Block Discord on iPhone. This is for iOS 12 and above. Just like the MacBook, you can also block Discord from your kid's iPhone and iPad. To do this, all you have to do is configure a few settings in the family sharing feature on your device. So before proceeding any further, make sure that your kid's iPhone or iPad is connected to your device under the family sharing app. Start by opening the device settings on your iPhone and click on screen time. And under the family tab, click on your kid's name and select app limits on the next screen. Then click on add limit and enter the screen passcode to configure a new screen limit for the target device. After you have added the screen time limit, the next step will be to select Discord from the listed apps. And that's it. From now onwards, whenever your kid will reach his screen time limit for Discord, their device will automatically block the app for the rest of the day. Block Discord on Android. Finally, when it comes to blocking Discord on an Android device like Chromebook or an Android smartphone, the entire process is relatively easier. Though there isn't a direct method to specify the screen limit, you can use Google Play Store to permanently block Discord on the kid's device. First of all, go to Google Play Store on your kid's phone and tap the menu icon at the top left corner. Then click on settings and select family in the settings window. Now select parental controls and create a new pin. After creating the pin, 
just select the rated for 12 plus in the list and these will automatically block discord on your kids phone and they won't be able to download it whatsoever all in one solution to manage the screen time and inappropriate content on discord now that's how you can block discord on different devices but if you are actually concerned about your kids online activities blocking discord won't be enough Instead, you'll need a full-fledged parental control solution that will help you remotely monitor all their online activities and ensure they don't get trapped in any questionable activities. Let's say Wondershare Famisafe is the right tool for the job. It's an all-in-one parental control solution that's loaded with dozens of features to establish a protective shield against the internet. You can use the tool to configure screen time limits and even block unwanted applications remotely. One of the key features of Famisafe is its cross-platform compatibility, which means you'll be able to use it for different devices without any hassle. The entire setup process to connect your kids' devices to your phone is fairly easy and it will only take a few minutes to complete. Apart from its core features, Famisave also comes with a dedicated explicit content detection functionality. When this feature is enabled, the tool will automatically send alerts to your device every time your kid tries to access something explicit on the internet. SMS detection is another key feature of Famisafe that makes it the perfect parental control solution for parents. Basically, you can use Famisafe to remotely block random numbers on your kids' phones and restrict them from receiving any suspicious text messages. And that wraps up our episode on how to block Discord on different devices and how to restrict your children from spending too many hours on the platform. We hope this video helps you block Discord on your kids' phone and ensure they also spend time doing other productive things. Also, as a parent, keep in mind that it is your responsibility to encourage your children to get away from the online world and spend some time outside as well. So if you have found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And to see more videos in the future, don't forget to click on that subscribe button to Wondershare Famisafe. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.